what you're giving, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. Man, what's happening, YouTube? This your boy, Hefe 100, man. Uh, today we reacting to something uh, that's a little different. Something that I'm doing for my first time. Uh, but, shit, with all due respect, this is the one to do it for if you're going to do it for anything. If you're going to change, if you're going to change it on over, you need to go with this one right here, man. So as y'all can tell, man, I'm wearing my hood in my in my video, man. Something that I usually don't do, man. This is for the nigga name Hooded Mellow, man. Not Carmelo, nigga. Hooded Mellow. We don't fuck with Carmelo. Hooded Mellow, man. The Hooded Mellow, nigga, man. Nah, fuck with you. Mellow. My nigga, man, I know you're going to see this. First of all, welcome to the Blazers, bro. Off top, welcome to the Blazers, man. Um... I've been waiting for this shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I've been waiting for you to get signed with us for like a fucking year now. Um, had a dream last year that you got signed to us. And I know I don't never tell nobody about when I'm about my dreams unless if I want it to come true, I don't speak of it. If I don't if I don't want it to come true, then I speak of it and I let somebody know what I dreamt of. But I ain't letting nobody know about this, my love. Um, but you here though. So now I can tell y'all about it. Uh, they was blackballing the shit out this nigga, bro, for some reason. Like, I do understand. Now, I am a, I am a basketball fan. I'm a Blazer fan, too. You know what I mean? I understand that they say when Melo get in the game, the ball stop. The game stop. The game slow down. Um, but, but this nigga... It is what it is, man. Who gives a fuck? Let's win some games, nigga. You know what I mean? We got to get him in the right fit, but. But yeah, man, like I was saying, though, we're about to get into this. My next chapter with Portland Trailblazers from Carmelo, man. Uh, I'm, pretty, I'm glad you're here. Uh, ball out, my nigga. Keep that motherfucking hood on. I don't give a fuck if you got to get a thin-ass Under Armour ass. Uh... Little hoodie, you know the ones that they be thin, they be like the dry fit shit. Get one of them, nigga, and just put it underneath your underneath your jersey, man. When you get on that bench, throw that motherfucker on. Nigga, I wouldn't give a fuck if you played in the game with that motherfucker on. For all I give a fuck, my nigga. Just have a fucking hood on, goddamn it, 24-7 while you goddamn here with the Blazers. Goddamn take a shower in a goddamn hoodie. Goddamn brush your teeth in a goddamn hoodie. Goddamn go to sleep in a goddamn hoodie. Goddamn eat your breakfast in a goddamn hoodie. Goddamn play basketball in a goddamn hoodie. Goddamn drive your car in a goddamn hoodie. Goddamn pull up to the rose corner in a goddamn hoodie. Goddamn get dressed with a goddamn hoodie on. Goddamn talk on the phone with a goddamn hoodie on. Goddamn listen to music with a goddamn hoodie on. Goddamn go shopping with a goddamn hoodie on. Goddamn take a shower with a goddamn hoodie on again. Long story short, man. Don't fucking take your hood off, Melo. Goddamn. Act like you got a fucked up haircut, man. And don't take your fucking hood off. Just keep your fucking hood on the whole goddamn time, man. God damn, you know this shit worked for you. Fucking stop taking the fucking shit off. I fucking seen the fucking little preview of this of the snippet, the shit. You don't got your fucking hood on. Fuck is wrong with you, man? Pitch your, pitch your fucking hood on. Treat you like a fucking kid when it's cold outside. God damn it. Pitch your fucking hood on, man. But look, man, we about to get into this. Uh, we about to get here and go fuck with Mellow, man. You know, this is one of the greats, bro. Like, since since Oak Hill Academy, when that nigga dropped 56 points on us. That nigga dropped 56 on us. A loud 56, nigga. This wasn't no quiet ass passing the ball. 50. This was a loud 56, nigga. It had, like, the nigga, nigga, the people in the stands on a feet type 56. But, um, yeah, man. Let's get into this shit, man. Uh, this is, a uh, Carmelo, uh, is keeping up with basically keeping up with Carmelo, nigga. Uh, my it's, it's my next chapter with the Portland Trailblazers by Carmelo Anthony, though. But uh, let's get into this, though, man. Everything happened kind of like in like 48 hours. The last year and a half, man, has just been like an emotional roller coaster. All of this started on a Wednesday. I got the call Wednesday, thought about it, then Thursday, that. 
I ain't gonna lie to you, look like Carmelo done dropped a little weight. This nigga done took his little year and a half off and got all the way in shape, nigga. Damn. Thursday was the commitment, right? It, it was, okay, I'm ready to do this. If you guys, you know, really wanna make this happen, I'm open, let's really get serious about this, let's make something happen, which led to the next day, which was a Friday, which they wanted me to come and get right into it. Let me just get three, four days of just like getting back into it. No, nigga, you don't need three, four more days to get back into shit, nigga. You've been on for a year and a half. Who gives a fuck about it? Three, four days. Get your ass in the gym. Get on the fucking flight. Get your ass here. Get to the PDX, nigga. Walk on the carpet, nigga. Get your ass to the motherfucking uh, training facility and get your motherfucking jumpers up, nigga. Fuck you talking about three, four days. Fuck wrong with you. Your fucking hood on, nigga. Mentally and emotionally, I had, you know, almost detached myself from the game a little bit just to give myself some sanity and not, not think about it. But once I got that call, the challenge was for me to just flip that back mentally. Nigga. A year and a half off of not getting a fucking phone call should have flipped the switch for you, nigga. Fuck are you talking about, Mello? Man, Mello, listen. You my dog. I've been rocking with you, like I said, since Oak Hill Academy, Syracuse, and all that, my nigga. Mello. Don't make me fuck you up, homie. That. His switch should have flipped like a motherfucking AK and went all full automatic. <laughs> Start shooting everywhere around this motherfucker. Ain't that what you do, nigga? Shoot? Fuck you talking about flipping switch, nigga. That was the challenging part. Nah, nigga. Challenge yourself to play some defense, nigga. But I fuck with you, Melo. You still one of my favorite players. I'm just talking shit right now. But that should be the goddamn challenge, nigga. Defense. Not your motherfucking. Not no motherfucking. Not no motherfucking. Flipping the switch back on, nigga. What the fuck is wrong with you? Self some sanity and not, not think about it. But once I got that call, the challenge was for me to just flip that back mentally. It's a big difference in training while you're waiting and training once you get the call and say, okay, we, we want to do this. So, you know, this summer when we started, it was more just about keeping him in game shape. It was my job to take a look at what actions they were running, where they were going to use him, and then getting him back into, you know, game shape as, as quickly as we can. You know, so I always kept my eye on Portland. It just didn't work out at other times, but now it seems like it's a Fuck you mean you kept your eye on us, nigga? Nigga, you should have been here a long time ago then if you kept your eye on us. The hell is you talking about? Shit ain't working. Shit didn't work out at different times. Man, Melo. You pissing me off right now. You wasn't keeping your motherfucking eye on us. Nigga, we had our eye on you, nigga. You didn't choose us, nigga. We chose you. Come in here with that bullshit, nigga. Fuck. You still my nigga though, Mello. You know I'm just talking shit right now. Goddamn diehard Blazer fan, nigga. I fuck you up, nigga. You goddamn get in there and fuck us up. Well, we already fucking up, so. Perfect opportunity. You know, me and Dane was, you know, we, we've been talking for the past couple years, just, you know, off and on. And just, yeah, me and CJ has been playing, uh, you know, and, and my Black Op runs for the past four years. I just look at that opportunity, that team, and say, look, this is what I can bring to the team. This is where I can help. And it, 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 it will only work if all parties see it the same way. Uh, what happened before is, is the past. I can't dwell on that. I learned from that. This happened at a point in time in my life where I do have a lot of clarity and understanding of different situations and just life and, you know, my approach is totally different.
Listen, man. I was the Carmelo nigga, man. Um, I'm happy you hear all jokes aside, though. All that, all that other funny little shit I was talking about just now. I was just fucking around, though. I'm happy that that nigga Carmelo with us. Um, I think that nigga got a lot to bring to our team. He got a lot to offer. Uh, and I'm not just talking about scoring points wise. I'm talking about like other shit. Just like kind of just showing the young fellas where to get in place at. You know what I mean? Um, nigga can't teach nobody how to play defense, but he could tell them how to play defense though. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just fuck with you. I fuck with you, man. I know when you got your hood on, man. You you can play some defense. That's what I'm saying. Goddamn it, keep that fucking hood on, man. Shit. But man, yeah, this shit boy Hefe 100, man. I'm here all week. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We out. It's getting heavy. I can feel the weight. The pressure of success is like a hundred million pounds of.